I'm gonna make maybe one movie every two years, I figured out. After, yeah, about two, every two years, maybe one film. Maybe spread it out over four. The job is like a cinch. We have the easiest part of the process of making these films. We just come in, we give our voices, and the animators spend years bringing alive the scenes and, and, and the chemistry between the, the characters. I, uh, Lucy stepped on, on a push off my, my hand. She missed my hand and hit her went thigh. and punctured my thigh, basically, yeah. with her heel. And I had a big, huge weld all the way down my leg, which was kind of nice. I really enjoy um, coming here and I want to spend more time here, which I will one day. Not promoting a film, just coming back and uh, maybe getting a bath or something. Well, I'm a pretty simple person. Um, I don't have a lot of needs. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't spend a lot of money on sort of frivolous things. I guess I shop like any girl does. Um, I love beautiful things. I think that's just the simplest things are very romantic this day and age. Chivalry is always something that's romantic. So open a door, guys. That's all it's going to take. Just open a door. I grew up with movies like Animal House and Caddyshack, and I think this has some of that same spirit. And uh, I don't know, I had a great time working on it, and I think that David did a great job casting the movie, and there's a lot of funny people in it. For Best, best Kiss, kiss. well, I've won for Best Kiss before, and I was like, I can only think that they decided that maybe they want to, like, spread the wealth. Like, how many times can they give it to me? <laughs> Yeah, I grew up seeing the show. It was like that show, and then Miami Vice was like kind of like 
you know, when I was probably about 16. But yeah, Starsky and Hutch was huge. Like, you know, I was born in 68, so like late 70s is when I would have first started seeing Playboy and everything. So that always has a hold on your imagination. Walk in like you own the joint. Don't let them smell fear on you or you'll never get in. Luke had written the script, and Andrew was directing. I guess Luke and Andrew were both directing me. But um, yeah, it was great to kind of all work together. And there's something about being kind of with your brothers where you don't have to. There's a comfort level, so you can sort of, you know, a lot of times on a movie set, you might have to be sort of extra polite. And uh, with your brothers, you can kind of just cut to the chase. Uh, I have. I had. Uh, uh, my younger brother Luke stayed with me uh, for a year, even though he had his own house. much like a woman in that movie, you know, I'm an ordinary, real, salts of the earth woman, which um, I love playing those characters. Yeah. Well, one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> I've heard his feeling. No, really, those scenes were great. There, there are many great scenes, but one of the scenes that really impacted me as I watched it for the first time, almost as an audience member, because I had nothing to do with the scene, was the scene where the character Angel spreads his wings for the first time and flies through the window and it's poetic it's beautiful it's surreal it's peaceful um i think um you'll see a different side of me you'll see a cat woman that's in some ways very much like the cat women of the past some great women played before but she's also a woman of the 21st century too very edgy very in touch with her sexuality smart vulnerable <laughs> lots of things Oh yeah, um, or suspense thriller, psychological thrillers, which I really like to call this one. I love a good scary movie. I do, and because this is sort of, you know, where my mother's side of her family's roots lie, it feels extra special.
step be seen, you know? We haven't opened yet, but it just feels good to be here and have the fans really enjoy sort of what we do. It's all just to entertain them, and so hopefully they'll, they'll take it that way. It's a story of somebody who feels that, that, that there's a hand at their throat and bit by bit they act to move that hand. And often when people's hearts are uh, oppressed and, uh, and, and silenced, uh, they will act in extreme and, and um, violent and horrible ways. I don't think there is any art that doesn't respond to the times uh, that it's in. And I don't frankly think that there's enough political films here or anywhere. You know, I think that, that, the, that the, the politics, as we understand politics to be, is so present in all our lives right now that any painting that doesn't reflect it in some way is, is, is dismissible to me. If you had two seconds to describe how Clint makes a movie, he sort of waves his hand at the, the movie got made. <laughs> the, the old discussion about uh, the director's job creating an environment for actors, this was uh, it's just, it seems, seems to be a very effortless gift of his. It's great. It's very funny, but it also has a wonderful message about love and loss, and, and it has a lot of hope in it. I mean, people are just loving the film because it, it, it has a really uplifting feeling. I don't think you can ever expect anything. You never know what people are like, and every different group that votes on everything is completely different and made up of completely different people. So, yeah, I was completely surprised and thrilled. And <laughs> No. Not anymore. I mean, I guess I was then, but now I've, I've completely just stopped singing because it was just such an overwhelming experience. I don't think I'll ever sing again. I'm doing a movie called Vanity Fair right now and um, on outside of London, just right outside London, and just having a great time. And I'm, I'm almost done now.
happy, you know, that somebody wants to work with a pregnant lady, and <laughs> I'm doing a movie right now, and then I'm almost done, and I get to go home and just relax. The really extraordinary thing is the great parts of people that it brings out, the hope and the, just the humanity, that people care for each other and love each other, and I think that's what we have to kind of focus on and, and do our best to just support these people and provide opportunities for them. Absolutely, you know, I think um, anywhere where there's, you know, modern women in the workplace but still wanting to be glamorous and, and girly, I think that's the perfect match. My family has been thankfully fine. We live in Tennessee, and uh, but we have many extended family members, friends um, that are, you know, dealing with some pretty difficult things. He did an amazing job. He was so dedicated and committed, and listened to every single CD and every tape, and read every book you could possibly imagine. And it, it was great. It was a great journey. We, we're really good friends, so we it all sort of worked out in a good way. I just, I felt, I don't know, gonna be 40 next year, so uh, I, I identify with a lot of the father stuff in the movie. I connected with lo losing a dad, that sort of thing. I don't know. I just, I just, I like the script a lot. You can't be happy in it if your home is not at, at peace. And this guy's, he's a good man. He just wants his wife happy because he knows if his wife's happy, his children won't be affected by the weird energy in the house. The movie was so awesome. We knew the story was great. That helped you uh, make a movie. You realize people like the, the, the storyline. Uh, there was pressure to, to uh, try to make it as good as we could make it, and that's, that's what we, we strive to do. I, of course, would want to get my see my dad again. I would do that, and then uh, I would get to uh, I don't see what the hell would I rewind to. I, I, it was a, one time uh, in uh, elementary school, I scored 19 points in a basketball game. That was a good day for me. I do that again. I'm a lot better now since I shot the movie. I started off with bacon and eggs. It was my talent, and uh, I could stir up pudding. And now. Uh, now I know a lot more about food and preparing food. Today's one of the <clears throat> first times when I'm just sitting back and, and doing what my father told me and enjoying the moment and enjoying the fact that this is a, a terrific feeling. And I, and I appreciate everybody sharing this with me.
when I got this role, I can't tell you how many women stopped me and said, you're playing my favorite comic book character. Because of Elektra, I am, you know, more independent or stronger or whatever their answer was. And I, I was shocked by that, and it made me feel the weight of the responsibility of playing this character. They actually, those shoes, thank God, were pretty comfortable, but they were literally five-inch heels. So my biggest thing the day of Thriller was to not fall and break my ankle. But it was so, so much fun. It was a total throwback and a combination of my childhood and my adult. It was perfect. It was such a fun day. I wanted to be the grown-up girls in the ballet company. I never looked at Hollywood, or I, I didn't have to look farther than, you know, my older sister to know who I wanted to be. But I was thrilled to be able to do it. No, I, I grew up wanting to do nothing but Shakespeare, and Ibsen, and Strindberg, and Shaw. I love the classics. I love words. And so this whole physical thing is, is new for me, and I'm loving it.